So to install PHP, you need to install XAMPP. So I'm going to XAMPP here and click on this link. I also have this link in the description, so you can just directly click on the link in the description. Now let's download for PHP 8, right? Now I'm downloading for Windows, you can download for Linux or Mac. So I'll download the 64 bit version. Now the download should start automatically. And if the download did not start, you can click here and the download will start. So let me just click here. And the download is started as you can see. Now as you can see, XAMPP is downloaded. Now click on open file or go to your downloads folder and double click to open it. And the installation still should start. As you can see, the installer is now opening. Okay, so you can see this message that says if you have an antivirus running in this stuff, but it does not matter. You can just click on yes, click on okay, click next, click next again, and this is where your XAMPP will be installed. Click next again. I already had an uh, old version installed, so I'm getting this message. But in your case, you will not see this message. Click next. Okay, so it is saying XAMPP is not empty. Again, I am I'm having to do this extra step because I already had it installed. You will not see this message. So I'll just delete this. And I'll click next. Click next again. And now XAMPP is installing. Now, as you can see, uh, setup has uh, it is saying setup is installed finishing XAMPP. Now you can uncheck this because we don't need to open XAMPP right now. Click on finish. Now let's check if PHP is properly installed. Press the Windows key and type CMD. This will open your command prompt. Now type PHP double dash version. And as you can see, that is showing PHP 8.0.28. This means that PHP has been successfully installed. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.